Hey everyone, welcome to Video Studio and welcome to another brand new tutorial for Photoshop. In this video, we'll be creating a simple text design. And if you guys are new to this channel, please do subscribe my channel. So with that note, let's submit the video. Here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, go to File, click on New. And as always, I'm going for 1350, 1080, 300 resolution. RGB color mode 16 bit and just keep the rest as default and click on create now let's uh, create a new solid and let's give it a kind of darker color maybe something like that and now let's create a text so that's our main topic click on text and let's say okay let's type that word let's make it a little bigger and maybe let's change the font to yep maybe i'll just use that font for now now let's make a copy just for safety so Control j and let's turn up the visibility for the copy layer and select the main text layer right click and let's rasterize the layer so now it's converted into a layer now go to the selection tool or I'm using the lasso tool for now and let's make a random selection like a cracks so and control shift J let's make a copy it is on a separate layer as a copy now control T let's move it a little side and maybe let's add a rotation maybe let's just I'll just a little bit all right now let's make another chunk over here select the bottom layer Control shift j let's make a copy and let's move it a little side and what else maybe let's do some over here too Control shift select on bottom layer Control shift j and let's move it a little bit maybe let's add some rotation and let's do the same thing over here too now let's select all this layer and make a group Control G now let's create a layer max and go to the brush and I'm using this explosion brush and if you want to download the same brush pack check on the description list below yep let's go with this brush or maybe yep let's go with this brush now let's make it a way smaller and make sure the color is black and let's create some kind of particle effects over here and now let's do some brush rotation maybe and let's do a one more rotation and let's create some over here too all right now let's create a new layer let's keep it under this text layer and let's go back to the brush again and for this time i will just go for okay let's use this brush make a rotation all right now let's make it a little smaller yep let's add a particle and maybe let's create a new layer again let's make it more smaller and maybe let's add 
one over here and go to the eraser tool let's get rid of these hard edges go for another brush yep maybe like this one let's make it a little smaller and let's add a rotation let's add another rotation maybe around here now select all these layers and let's keep it inside a group so we know it's a text Control T let's make it a little smaller maybe somewhere around that side alright now let's uh, drag and drop this image over here and over here okay now let's minimize this for now and let's change the blending mode to screen control T control T let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it somewhere over here and then let's add another uh, image so let's see which one okay yeah. let's drag and uh, drop this image over here yes let's minimize this for now control T let's make it a little bit smaller let's change the blending mode to screen to control T let's make it a little smaller let's keep it maybe somewhere over here and control L and let's make it a little darker just to get rid of these edges and control J let's make a copy control T let's make it a little smaller let's keep it maybe one more over here let's drag and drop this image over here and let's keep it under the text control T let's make it a way smaller yep maybe let's keep it somewhere over here all right maybe let's move all the text a little bottom maybe somewhere over here just to make this text more visible let's add a new layer go to the brush and this time i will go for this brush and let's make the brush a little dark yep something like that see now let's drop down the opacity a little bit maybe it's too much let's create a one more layer and let's add a brush rotation so, and let's add another brass strokes yep all right now let's uh, drag and drop this main cloud image over here let's keep it as a background so let's drag and drop over here click yes and let's move this below this layer control T let's make it a little bigger These clouds are too bright for me. Let's create a curve. Click on this icon to make it clip to layer and let's drop down. Let's make it a little darker and maybe drop down the highlights too. More darker. Yep, maybe something like that. And now let's do some color adjustment for this layer so select this layer go to filter go to camera raw filter and let's drop down the highlights let's increase the clarity maybe all the way up increase the texture go to the detail tab and increase the noise reduction increase a little bit of sharpening increase the color noise reduction too 
and go to the color mixture and from the saturation tab let's drop down the saturation for orange and maybe drop down the saturation for blue too and maybe let's go to the basic tab and let's drop down the vibrance a little bit and increase the texture too maybe increase the exposure just a little touch now let's drag and drop this image over here and let's change the blending mode to screen let's keep it all the way to the top let's change it to screen Control T and let's make it a little smaller let's keep it maybe somewhere over here all right and now let's create a new layer right click create a clipping max go to the brush and let's go for a general brush a soft brush and let's choose some kind of brighter yellowish color and let's add a kind of glow on the side maybe over here too maybe just a little touch on the over here and maybe some over here too and let's change it to screen and let's drop down the opacity a little bit and now let's create a new layer go to the brush again and let's add a general soft touch on the back over here too and maybe over here too and maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit just to give a kind of soft glow so let's add a color lookup under under this image so go over here add a color lookup and i'm using my mood LUT so select on this LUT click on load now let's do some color adjustment so go over here add a color balance and let's drop down the red maybe let's increase a green a little bit yep and maybe let's drop let's go more toward the yellowish tone so yep something like that and let's go to the saddles and let's drop down the weight a little bit yep something like that and let's select this layer Control l and i want to get rid of these hard edges so just make it a little darker all right now let's add a shape go over here add a custom shape and again let's use the same same shapes as arrow select and let's draw it and let's change it to pure white and let's keep it under the main image okay control G let's make a rotation create a layer max go to brush and let's go for the same explosion brush yep like this one and let's Control T let's make it a little smaller maybe something like that now let's make a copy Control J Control T let's make it a way bigger and maybe let's drop down the opacity just a little touch all right now let's go over here let's drag and drop this image over here and let's keep it all the way to the top and let's change the blending mode to screen Control T let's make it a little smaller and let's drop down the opacity a little bit and from, from the bottom layer let's make this a more darker
and let's change the blending mode to screen again Control T and Control L for label and just to get rid of these hard edges let's make it a more darker and create a layer max go to brush and again and just get rid of these some of these parts now let's add some text and let's add a final color touch so ctrl shift alt e go to filter go to the camera raw filter and let's drop down highlights a little bit increase your clarity increase your texture and go to the detail tab increase the sharpening and increase the noise reduction or just a little touch and go to the effect tab decrease a little bit of vignetting something like that let's click on okay so yep that's the wrap up for today's video and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video